Okay, so back to the Nissan Bentley to complete our experiment, our test. Now we put a gallon of fuel in the tank, just a bit over a gallon, and that took it to just over the minimum mark. Using the seafoam that we've got, branded in the USA, the original tire version, we measured out the equivalent of two fluid ounces to add to the tank. Because we knew there was a little bit more in the tank than, than just the minimum we put in, we overcompensated to make sure to give seafoam the best possible chance of working. We then added the seafoam contents to the tank just to give it the maximum opportunity of really breaking down that carbon on top of the cylinders. So what we did was I drove it around for a little while, well, a little, quite a long while, and um, yeah, got it down to really low level. So I know it had used the seafoam formula. So the next thing was to take off the brake booster hose, which was really easy, just pulled out, and start adding the seafoam via the vacuum system this way. Once again, I measured out the equivalent of a third of the seafoam, which works out 120 milliliters because it's four fluid ounces is a third in, in the actual seafoam container. So I did two and two, repeated the process to give it the best possible chance of really working and having a good chance. I didn't want to cheat the test, I wanted to try and make it as even as possible. Maybe someone's going to say I did something wrong, I don't know, but I tried to follow the instructions as best as possible to try and really clean up that crud and grime off the top of the engine. This is me repeating the process again, the same process again, or getting it in there, and just going through the brake booster hose. As you can see, we've got the, the usual trademark smoke, and then that's it. Just, just slowly went let it go in there. Okay, so once the seafoam was finished, this is where it gets funny for me, where I try to turn off the car. That's the engine, that's the engine knocking about. The car was running on seafoam, it was still running on the fuel that I had actually injected into the intake, and that's why it was making that noise. Not really good, if I'm in my opinion, but let's see how it goes. After waiting five minutes for it to soak into the uh, pistons, I um, started it, just it says on the instructions and we got the usual trademark smoke, the seafoam actually burning off and creating the smoke. Usual stuff, it's really good looking to be fair, but more interestingly, I want to know if it's actually doing anything. So after about five minutes of this, five, ten minutes of this, it actually came to this sort of level. I thought this was acceptable enough to start inspecting it. Now it's just like before, we're taking out the spark plugs to gain access so we can actually see what's going on inside the engine to see if it's done any sort of cleaning, see if our intake is clean because that's ultimately what this test is about. Again with our endoscope, we go into the cylinders and investigate what's going on. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is piston one as it states. This was the original footage that I actually filmed inside the cylinder pre any treatment. This is what it looked like before. Now coming up is what it looks like afterwards. Now there's going to be a slight difference in the focal aspect of it because the pistons are at distant different heights but I think it's fair to say that there is no massive drastic improvement here in my opinion. Um, you lot may, other people may think different but my opinion it's not much different. Same thing for piston 2. This one was quite crudded up as you can see, as you can see, as you can see and it's not that outstandingly different, if at all. Like I said, the pistons will be different heights from where I've used the car and everything's moved a little bit. So some will be more in focus and some will be less in focus. But in my humble opinion, it just still looks like the surface of the moon. No real difference, it's just the same. Okay, here we go with piston three again. Hopefully we're gonna get something different here. Let's have a look. Anything, maybe, let's have a look. I don't think so, maybe. Don't be pessimistic. Well, once again, it's pretty much the same in my opinion. I don't see no drastic difference or changes there. I'm using exactly the same stuff, the uh, same camera. Um, they may be in slightly different positions, but you know, I don't see any outstanding difference in my opinion. But you can make your own judgment. I'm only here to present the evidence. Now this is piston four, much of the sameness. It's got that kind of glossy, shiny residue whatever's going on there and now it's that so you know 
there's the there's the information, there's the evidence. Everyone can make their own opinion, but for me personally, I don't really see the drastic improvement. I don't really see the value of doing that. So let's go on. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that's my seafoam test. I mean, like I said, in my opinion, it's not really anything of a huge improvement to me in my views, but you know, everyone is entitled to their own. Everyone's entitled to their own. It did feel a bit more raspy, I should say. It sounded a bit more raspy, but I think that's quite common with anything that's induced in that sort of way as seafoam is. Um, just want to make everyone know that I don't make these to offend you. This is not to upset people. It's just, I, I, I just try to promote to ask questions. Instead of just listening to what someone says, ask questions, ask why. Because all too easy, we, we're getting bamboozled with things that don't actually do what they say they do. And unless we decide to ask and challenge the industry, nothing's going to change. So no one's to get offended by what I've made or what I've said. It's not about just trying to be stupid and just, you know what I mean, antagonising. It's about asking questions and becoming better as a unit. Everyone wants something that works, but we're only going to get that if we start challenging it. That's how things improve. That's how everything improves. So um, I hope you like the test. Comment, rate, subscribe. Give me your advice. If I've done something wrong, mention it. If I've done something right, mention it. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. BMacVags.com. Maybe I'll do some more. Maybe, maybe I'll do some more. Thanks for watching. Speak soon.